Are you part of the Cream Puff Squad yet? Well, I've just released a Cream Puff Squad line of merch. This is brand new to my channel and is perfect for the holiday season. Use code CREAMPUFF when checking out for $5 off and code GRACIE for free shipping anywhere in the US. Hello Cream Puffs, it's Gracie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So you know the drill, once a year I love, 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 love to post a diamond farming video, especially in the winter time, to tell you guys how to get the fastest diamonds possible in a short amount of time. So. It's winter once again, and of course, I have to do an updated version on my diamond farming routines. So this isn't just my diamond farming routine, I'm gonna be including tons of different player diamond farming routines at a different level. So if you're a beginner player versus if you're more experienced, I'm just gonna be going through all of that in the video. We'll start off with the dailies because everyone knows them, but I hope that you guys enjoy. This is gonna be a longer video, and I'm gonna try to post more videos along this length. So if you really wanna know how to get the most diamonds possible in Royal High for the upcoming sets, the upcoming season. Don't forget to watch all the way through for all those tips and tricks. Let's get through the basics. We all know that spinning the wheel in the castle's heart will probably give you diamonds or an item, but a lot of times we've been playing for a while and we already have those items, so you'll get diamonds. 300 diamonds if you have the item already, and of course the different sacks of diamonds vary, but I have been able to get really big ones at times, so it's just worth doing because why not? Just a reminder that these tiny little diamonds that spawn all over Castle's Heart can be great if you actually have multipliers. It doesn't look like there's many out right now, but there used to be tons, and especially if they're not just like this light pink color, because then the yellow ones are worth 100 diamonds if you have multipliers. The purple ones can be like 60, so it's just worth collecting them if you see them. One of the fastest ways to get diamonds is just doing your daily login. Now I'm preaching this, but I really don't do it. I'm sorry, I'm on like day two. It's really embarrassing, no matter how hard I try, I've always just been really bad at keeping myself on top of this. Any other Royal High player besides me though will be doing their daily logins. It's just something you should be doing every single day. You'll be getting thousands of diamonds on the daily for minimal effort. Of course, the other very well-known thing to do is sleep. This is another basic. Go to your dorm. That's probably the easiest way to hit a couple things at once, like your daily logins, your sleep, and any quests. Method number one, leveling up. Ever since the new school came out, one of the fastest ways to earn diamonds fast but also increase your level and unlock perks in the game has been leveling up. Let me explain if you don't already know. Leveling up will give you different stars. You have your self-care needs, which are hunger, hygiene, and energy. Two of these we complete, we can complete like easily right now, so I would just recommend focusing on energy like I just did and hygiene. And then you have quests. You can have up to three quests, and then with time, you unlock these sparkly star rewards. Me personally, I haven't been on top of my level grinding. It's not something I've been focusing on, but I know that there is a potential to earn lots of diamonds in the game but not only that but increase your level and in turn get perks for example there are so many different things you get to choose new elements to study you get just little things that improve the game for you and sets you higher than other royal high players this would definitely be one of my top methods to diamond farm for beginner players because you don't need game passes for this it's really just that you get diamonds every time you level up and that you're able to do the quest no matter what I need to get out of here. They have like stripped me of my entire outfit. This is so embarrassing. Hey cream puffs, this is a little disclaimer because I get so many comments every time I make diamond farming videos like this, like what if I don't have multipliers, what if I don't have this or that, and honestly you don't need much to start making diamonds, especially with the update coming out where you just have to level up to make diamonds or to level up and get diamonds from leveling up, you know what I mean? Like you don't even need multipliers at this point, you just need to be leveling up. So if that's all you, like if that's all you can do, start with leveling up and then as the video progresses I get into more ways to make diamonds that more experienced players can do but also if you're just curious about how to get where experienced players are just keep watching and I will hopefully have all the answers for you we're gonna have to leave the castle for this one because we're gonna go to the royal world and enter the one and only sunset island call me Haley put a really great tweet out where she said royal high should let you have access to every item in the game for sunset island pageants not like give you the item but just let players wear everything and anything they want in the realm so that it's more fair competition 
This is facts. How are players, especially new players, supposed to work their way up and earn diamonds if they can't even play Sensa Island because they don't have accessories to make a good outfit? If we were able to have access to all the accessories or even like a handful of them, it'd be so much easier to demonstrate like good fashion skills. I'm not playing a Sunset Fashion Round, but I can tell you right now you earn diamonds just from participating, from voting, and of course if you win first, second, or third place. So I highly recommend this for players who kind of have a taste or like a gift for making outfits in Royal High. It's not for everyone, especially new players who don't have accessories, but you can definitely still work your way up there. As you can see from this round, I joined like two minutes before the deadline and I still won second place, which is pretty impressive. Most rounds I really don't know what to do. I guess this one just somehow worked, um, but I literally built my entire outfit during the questions and stuff. And if that's what you got to do, you got to do it. I thought they patched it, but this time they didn't for me. So I was just very grateful. I got second place. And with that, I actually earned 600 diamonds. Plus you get diamonds for voting. So make sure you give people your roses. And I also won some XP as well. I think it was like 200 XP, which is awesome. My only drawback is how long it takes per round, but thankfully I joined like at the end of a round, so it was a lot quicker for me, but I don't like how long Sunset Island usually takes. The final method I'm gonna talk about is for players level 75 or higher, or anyone who wants to level grind to get to level 75 to unlock this diamond farming hack. So honestly, trading can be a great way and a very quick way to get diamonds fast. If you have very valuable items, or even if you have tons of doubles of little items, you can start a shop or you can actually just sell off a very valuable item and make lots of diamonds fast. You can also trade item for item and then, you know, take that item and sell it for diamonds, but we want diamonds here, so we're gonna be selling items and that will probably be the fastest way to make money from the trading hub. All right, so I got disconnected, um, which happens to me a lot because my Wi-Fi, I guess, but hopefully this time I will actually be let in. Yay! Okay, so the problem with me is I can never find a server that actually wants to trade and like I can never find, I guess, quote unquote, a rich server where there's tons of people that would offer like millions of diamonds for my halo. If you don't already know, I'm trying to sell my Valentine's 2020 halo for some diamonds. Um, but I really just can't find anyone who's willing to do it. I feel like tradery is dying right now because I do remember selling my Halloween 2019 for like millions. Actually, no, I traded it for other halos, but I do remember selling it and it could have gone for millions and I was getting so many offers and tradery was like a lot more active, but now I've gone on and really can't find anyone that's like actively putting offers out for items in Royal High. And I really need to know how to sell this thing because I don't need it. Like, I hardly use it. Like, it's very stunning. But I'm at the point where, like, I can't farm for diamonds that much every day. Like, I have so much else in my life that I need to be doing. It's not quarantine anymore. Like, I can't just sit on my butt and farm for hours. So I really just need a quick way of making diamonds. And the solution for me would have been selling this thing. I can't find anyone who will buy it, though. So if you want to buy it, if you know someone who will, let me know. But otherwise, I would just recommend selling your items. It doesn't have to be something as dramatic as the Valentine's Halo or any Halo for that matter. But honestly, just starting a small shop, maybe even dorm accessories accessories, free accessories that are no longer available, that would get you money for like no profit or whatever. That's what I would recommend and what you can get out of the trading hub. Do y'all remember when they used to hold like fashion events? Oh, I'm getting stuck. People used to hold fashion shows up here somewhere, like up there. I don't know if I was the only one who witnessed those. <laughs> Anyways, cream puffs, I hope that this video helped you and that you'll be able to make as many diamonds as you can for the new set. It's December 15th when I'm filming this right now and the set should be dropping today. So make diamonds for the set, make diamonds for future items coming out, make diamonds for future updates. Just have diamonds secured in your account of Royal High in general. I hope that this helped you out. There are a couple different methods which I tried to list off. These are my go-to, but also other people's go-tos that I've heard from the amount of times I've made videos like this. Thank you all so, so much for watching if you made it to the end and I wish you all good, good luck. If you haven't already and enjoyed this video, found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to join the Cream Puff Squad. We are on the road to 110K Cream Puffs and this is the first time I'm posting a diamond farming video like this. I know that you guys love these type of videos, so I'm hoping to post, first of all, longer videos, second of all, videos more like this about how to get diamonds, how to level up, cause that is what people like to see the most. 
If you enjoyed, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well to spread it to more Royal High players. And I just appreciate you so much if you actually made it to the end of the video. You are such a true cream puff. Thank you so, so much for watching till the end. And I will see you next time I post my daily video or short. Bye. Go gliding in the one horse lane. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up.